I, and that's <laughs> definitely not a thing that was before in, in, in the happy times. <laughs> when, wait, I can't tell if this... Was this... I, I can't tell if this stairway is going up or down. I mean, I know that it's... Just there's something, I don't know if it's like the way the walls are to the side. But it almost looks like I'm walking up. Or am I, have I just had like three cans too many? I don't know. I don't know, I'm just obviously. Why did you put the whispering in? Why would you do that? <laughs> That wall's something. I could tell. <gasps> okay. It's. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Fuck me. Oh. Hi. You're a. Ow. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, color of blue. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh! Well, is that intentionally make him, like, head tight with the penis? Oh my god! This... Your head's on... I... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's all... What's it? Oh, then oh. Okay, this way. Hi. Um, you might want to move. Or not. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. <laughs> that could And here comes the part. Go ahead, Reed. Okay, that, that couldn't have been a normal nightmare. It felt so real. I had to get a grip. What I experienced was horrible, but I think it's over to... Okay. <laughs> okay he basically said he's going to grab uh, his father's journal from his desk. And I was going to say this is going to be the part that's going to piss a lot of people off. Of because reading. of how much reading there is. Do you want me to do some reading? Uh, yeah, you do the till about halfway. You'll know where halfway is, and then All I'll right. take over if you want. My name is Vincent Sanders. I am 12 years of age. I'm writing in this journal because my mother believes it would be good for me. She said that normal boys keep diaries. When I corrected her by saying a boy would call it a journal, she corrected the location of my cheek with the back of her hand. I think she only wants me to write in it so that I don't bother her with my feelings. I have been confined to my room for the heinous action of speaking out of turn. It would appear that I must learn my lesson that when my mother and father have their homunculus guests over, I am to play the role of the perfect son. It makes sense, as those are the only times they deign to play the role of the perfect parents. I can hear them arguing downstairs. I suppose that's what happens when you tell your father's boss the things he calls him when he's not there. I was told to stay in this room until morning. I've danced this dance long enough to know that that actually means until the guests leave and my father comes with the belt. I am going to leave before that happens. I'm on the second floor, so I'll need to find something to tie together and dangle out the window. There's an old crowbar on my desk. I'll need that to pull down the curtains that will serve as part of my escape ladder. It has been six months since my last entry. My grand plan didn't go so well. The last thing I can remember about that night is the makeshift rope ladder snapping and falling to what my naive mind thought was certain death. Give me just a second. I'm going to full screen this. 
That's better. Um, let's see here. Instead, I landed in the pool. My father has said for four years that he would teach me how to swim. Things aren't all bad, though. Although the experience itself was horrifying, there were witnesses. Questions were asked. Questions like why a little boy would attempt to flee his home. Or why that same boy had so many strange markings on his body. My favorite part was my father screaming at the judge that he would never strike his son. When he pleaded, tell him, boy, his tears almost had even me convinced. My mother played the part of the innocent, frightened wife very well. She visited me in the hospital every day. She's pretending to have changed. I almost believed her. I almost believed she had until she told me her new boyfriend's arm on her shoulder that she is sending me off to boarding school. It was hard to hide how relieved I was to be away from her, but I managed. I leave in a week. Nice. Want me to take over? Uh, yeah, you can do a few. There's like 15 entries. Oh, right, okay. I'll do. I'll do a few then. Can't believe this thing is still here. I kept it hidden behind a plank of wood for fear that one of my parents would see it. Man, I used to try way too hard to sound eloquent. Anyway, boarding school sucked. Funnily, funny enough, my parents had actually prepared me for it. Graduation was a few weeks ago. Mum never visited me at school. <clears throat> the only times I got to see her was Christmas and the brief few days between the start of summer break and when I was shipped off to camp. She looks worse every year. Once my dad's money dried up, the stream of boyfriends stopped and she just spent her time drinking herself to death. She hasn't gotten then yet. She hasn't gotten then yet, but I'm rooting for her. It's uh, lucky. Give me just a second. I'm going to make a note that I need to change that to there. Ah, she hasn't gotten there that yet. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't my I fault. just realized my amnesia is still going. <laughs> I just realized I could still hear that. <laughs> just when you put it on there. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, see the the first page, the bit with the climbing out the window? That was the bit you played in a late night drink then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, <clears throat> she hasn't gotten there yet, but I'm rooting for her. It's lucky that she'd paid school tuition full. I even found out that two years ago she attempted to get a refund for the remaining years. I should be going, looking to go to college right about now, but I have no cash. That's where Uncle Sam comes in. A few years in the army and I get free college. Just stopped in to pick up a few of my things. I'd leave them, but I noticed some real estate listings on the kitchen table. By the looks of it, she's trying to figure out how much she could sell the house for. I'd love to see the look on his face when my father goes out, gets out of jail in a few years and finds the house gone. But hopefully it'll be on the other side of the planet. I'll be on the other side of the planet by then. You know what? I think I'm going to take this journal with me. Five. You want to take turns for entry? Yeah, do that then. Yeah, that makes that'll that'll suit me. All right. Put it back in full screen. <clears throat> Nobody can figure out why I'm handling boot camp so well. I can tell them about my upbringing, how I've basically been in boot camp since I was an infant. But I'll just let them keep thinking I'm He-Man. I had to stand outside all night because I laughed in the drill sergeant's face. When he asked what was so funny, I told him nothing. In truth, I was laughing because of how tame he was in comparison to that guy from the new Kubrick film I saw before joining up. Figured it would be a good last movie to see before enlisting, that it would prepare me. And now I've got water in my ears from standing in the rain all night. At the last minute, I begged him not to make me do it. I pleaded with him. When I told him that I'm afraid of water, he laughed and told me to call it immersion therapy. I take it back. The guy from the movie is nicer. I don't know if a lot of people are going to get that. I think I get it. You know, you know what movie he's talking about? Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. Do you... What was it he done? What oh, Stanley Kubrick? Yeah, film movie it, has fil a drill cert. Film metal jacket. No, yeah. that wasn't. Is that Kubrick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember that scene with the dude. Yeah. Um. Six, looks like I'm going to South America. In the words of my esteemed officer, I'll be doing what the army does when there aren't any good damn wars to fight. Sissy pansy humanitarian efforts. Not even sure why they gave you a gun, boy. Should just send you off with a box of tampons and a dress. I told him I, I wished I'd been born early enough to use my rifle on those damn gooks in Vietnam. I fucking hate racist bigots, but I've been here long enough to learn how to play these fuckers like a fiddle. His twisted sense of camaraderie scored me some extra rations. I really don't care where they send me as long as that tuition check clears once I'm done. <clears throat> I haven't had much time to write. Been going from village to village. Half my time is spent helping people. The other half threatening a small rebel force. I wouldn't even call them rebels. Just kids with a bad upbringing trying to find a purpose in life. I should know. That's exactly what I am. 
Damn it! I was so close. I almost got out with some of the best shit I've ever smoked, and at the end, I only got a 30 minute speech about not being allowed to bring anything back with us. I'm going to come back here someday. That stuff may not have done what they said it would do, but it was good. Then again, I can't think of any dead people I'd want to reach, so who, who knows? Ah. I'm the luckiest person alive. I have to slow down. Okay, so I finally get back stateside. I'm heading home to say goodbye to my mother before going off to college. For all she'd done, I figured she at least deserved a goodbye. I never could have expected what I found. There was a family in the house that I didn't recognize. When I inquired about my mother, they told me I should talk to the police. So I head to the station, and after some confusion about who I am, I find out that two years after I left for the army, my mother sold the house. When my father got released and found out, he first attacked the people who'd bought it, then hunted down my mother. He found my mom at a five-star hotel, getting a pedicure, and making flight plans over the phone for her upcoming vacation in Hawaii. Now he's back in jail for aggravated assault, attempted murder, 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 David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, attempted murder and destruction of public property. My mother is in jail as well for lying about owning the house she sold, as well <laughs> as well as several drug charges. This is a train wreck. So the stuff that was found in her car. Now here's the best part. Since my father is in for life and my mother never technically owned the house, everything defaults to me. I was given a choice. I can either legally evict the people who bought the house or just keep whatever – what my mother was paid for it, minus what she spent on drugs since that's now evidence that I have no claim to. I now have 225 grand on top of the money the army has given me for college. I think I need a little time off to think. Yeah. I start college tomorrow. <clears throat> Blowing through $30,000 was fun, but I think it's time to get serious about my life. I'm not much a religious man, but I do consider what happened a gift. I will not waste it. Anna. She says her name is Anna. We met while waiting for the bus. She's an angel. I don't want to sound like one of those sappy movies, but when I'm with her, I forget all about my childhood. I haven't told her about that. I don't know if I ever can. The past is in the past, and now I'm looking at a future with this wonderful woman. I haven't told her about the money I have. My mother was only with my father because he was rich. But Anna would never do that. Maybe I should tell her. <clears throat> she was crying. She found my journal in, the foot, in my footlocker. She said she was sorry for reading it. I could tell that she was really saying she was... Uh, I could tell that she was really saying she was sorry for what she had found in it. I raised my voice. I just wanted to know why she was going through my stuff. The look on her face when I yelled. For a moment, I was twelve years old again, watching my father yell at my mother. My God, how much of the how much of the mother I knew. I, I I'm going to start that line again. My <laughs> God, how much of the mother I knew was because of him. I will never yell at her again. I will not become my father. She was holding a card in her hand, a Valentine card. She was going to hide it under one of my pairs of underwear. She knew. I dated my underwear and cycled them in and out the same days. An old habit from the military and I was going to hide it under the ones I'd wear on that day. Ah, We held each other. She kept apologising at first for reading my journal. Then she apologised for every time she'd asked me about my youth. Anna is not dumb. She noticed how I refused to drink. I've refused every drink of alcohol she ever offered me. Though we've not... Oh, and I know I misspelled alcohol in that, but I've already caught it and fixed it in the uh, copy of the custom story that I'll be uploading to ModDB. Nice. I hadn't even noticed. Alcohol <laughs> ever offered to me. Yeah, yeah. Th th <clears throat> though we've not been intimate, she's noticed the marks on my lower back whenever my shirt was off. She's a damn calculus major, for fuck's sake. She can put two and two together. When she looked me in the eyes that night on the floor my foot by my footlocker, a journal full of pain at her side, and told me, you're not your father, I asked her to marry me. Immediately she said yes. Oh. Everything has been moving so fast lately. Anna and I finished our final two years of college. Graduation is in a week, and the wedding is two weeks after that. We picked out a house, two stories and a nice cellar. No electricity, but we'll get that sorted eventually. Something about the wiring being so old is too dangerous to turn anything on. At least the water works. A lot has changed since I last wrote in these pages. I started drinking. Haha, did I scare you, Journal? No, no, I'm drinking wine. According to Anna, you get all the joys of drinking without being trailer trash. <laughs> Seems I have a knack for it, too. I do tastings once a month and they love me there. I think I'll use part of that cellar for a small collection I've been building. Anna says I should start writing in here again. When I started to rip out the early pages, she stopped me. She's right. I can't run from the past. <clears throat> Looks like I have 
a quota. Anna told me that if I don't write at least once a week, she'll cut me off. I don't know if she was talking about my wine or sex. <laughs> Either way, consider this my return to the world of telling my most intimate secrets to a glorified notebook. Psst, I'm actually a Martian. Don't tell anyone. No, wait, I'm a secret agent who has teamed up with a Martian after his home world was ravaged by another race of aliens who now have their sights set in earth. Hey, what would make a cool movie? I guess he's been drinking when he's wrote this. <clears throat> yeah. Vincent, when I told you to write here, I didn't mean act silly. This is not the place to make jokes. And I was talking about sex. P.S. I would so watch that movie. I, I, I want to take some credit. <laughs> that okay. see, seeing me drunk on a regular basis is what gave you the idea to put the you know complete ramblings of a drunken fool in a diary. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is wonderful. And Anna, Anna's going to have a baby. This is my chance to show the world what a good father is like. This is going to be the most spoiled kid in the world. I have my reservations about whether I can be a good parent, but I think as long as I have Anna by my side, I can do anything. Thanks. No matter how many times I read this, I'm sorry, Dad. The rest of the pages seem to be ripped out. Maybe I can find them somewhere around the house. Comes to think of it, I seem to remember seeing some scraps here and there. Didn't realise they were from this journal at the time, though I'll make a note of where I saw them. Okay, so at this point, a note has been added to your notes that basically tells you exactly where all the scraps are. <clears throat> and I did that so that if someone uh, wants to... Um, uh, press Yeah, press G. tab and then click on your... yeah. And if you click on notes, it'll tell you exactly where they are if you uh, don't want to look, like, try to find them yourself. Oh, no, I'll try and find them myself. I'll try and find them. Is there any in here? <laughs> I'll, go ahead and save you, I'll go ahead and save you some time by telling you there aren't any in this room. Right, okay. And I'll also tell you that once you find one, there won't be any more in the room that you found that one. Uh, okay. Oh, and there aren't any in the uh, uh, storage room. Don't want you gallivanting through there for an hour. <laughs> but, 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 but. Did you happen to include... No. Uh, I was hoping <laughs> that if you explored long enough, there'd be an arse in the chest. I know it might not fit with the mood of the story, but... A man can dream. I, okay. I remember there being a key there before. Was it a key? Aha! <clears throat> Torn page number four. Right. Should, am I best keeping them in order? Uh, no, they're just like different aspects of his life. Okay. It's funny. I took the wine taste and called. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my notes. Okay. The therapist that comes to my house once a month has suggested that I write my thoughts down. Took me a little while to dig out this journal. The quack doesn't seem to realize that with my money, seeing a therapist isn't a sign of believing this particular brand of bullshit. It's simple play the same level of morbid freak curiosity that would lead one to see a donkey show. I guess that writing in this thing once in a while wouldn't hurt. What can I update it with? Well, I've turned my wine passion obsession really into a lucrative business. I don't really need the money, but at least it keeps me busy. Okay. So I found that one. The one in the wine. In the wine. In the potatoes that we made boiling and mashing and sticking them in a stew <laughs> I can't believe that that was so cool oh. I mean I know it's a kind of it's a reference that everybody knows but still yeah the fact that you well put it if you had uh, if you had looked you actually would have seen another little joke in one of the other items the knife that you um picked up to skin them with mm -hmm. uh normally that knife in the regular amnesia the text is a blade meant for skinning Mm -hmm. And then in this version, I put a blade meant for skinning potatoes. <laughs> now, while you're looking for this, you can feel free to ask me questions about the custom story and just about, you know, development in general. Yeah. Like if there's ever anything you're curious about when it comes to amnesia. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm really curious. I mean, I can't tell you, like, the amount of times I've booted it all up and went on the forums and went on YouTube videos on kind of quick guides on how to, you know, get the bait, just like get the bait, oh hi, get the basics and that down, but how do you find the fucking patience? Um, I'll put it like this, uh, my weakest thing when it comes to custom stories is level design. My maps suck ass. They're boring to look at, there's nothing mm -hmm. going on in them. 
Um, there's so many custom stories out there where there's so much interesting stuff to explore, but the problem is nothing fucking happens. Mm-hmm. Um, so the patience, I'll put it like this. I've coded two custom stories now, and I still have no idea how to code. <laughs> I just know what things to type in to make things happen. Like, okay, if I need to um, set a timer uh-huh. so that after a certain amount of time, a thing happens. Mm-hmm. Say I wanted to make it so that when you enter this room, 10 seconds passes and a bunch of dicks rain from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, first, obviously, I would have to go into the level editor and actually put all the dicks in the sky and then set them all as inactive so they're invisible. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then I would set a script that uh, when you enter add timer, uh, parentheses, uh, quotation marks, and then I would give a name to the timer, dick fall timer. <laughs> and then I would put the, num- I'd put the number. <laughs> if you actually, uh, anyone watching this, if you look through my uh, actual scripting, You'll find that the names I give to, um, like, my scripts are goofy as hell. Like, the script that you, the script for uh, in the last level telling you that you needed to make potatoes is called Mikey Need Food. <laughs> but, um, and then you, you, you put the number for how long you want the timer to be. Yeah. And then uh, you put another uh, a little line for the name of the script you want to run when the timer happens. And then when you put the script that's going to run, you put in parentheses, string ampersand in as timer. I have no idea what a string is. I have no idea what that ampersand's there for. I don't know why half the fucking scripts have as before it. Hmm. But it's not that important to know those things. It's just a matter of figuring out what things to type in to make certain things happen. Yeah. And then after after that point, it's just your imagination. And that's what you have. The big imagination. Mm. That's why I think uh, if I decide to ever make a Soma custom story, maybe we should make one together. I would love that. You know, that that that, that was going to be my next question is would... would I don't know what fucking use I would be, but even just to kind of be involved in... Mm offer well, a few on ideas one hand, you could you could keep me company one of the things that uh makes me take so fucking long to do development is that eventually i just i don't want to fucking stare at it anymore yeah all right go ahead and go pick up the next note okay i was i was just wanting to keep things authentic by walking around the table while you were talking <clears throat> all right i'll read this one yep I've met a woman named Sarah. She reminds me a little of Anna, her kindness mostly, though she does not have the same smart spark that my love had. The smart. She doesn't have the smart. No one has a smart. Either way, the me- <laughs> either way, the meeting was not for pleasure. I'm hiring a maid. Well, assistant, really. She'll help me with the day-to-day needs such as food and errands. I'm becoming more and more recluse as time goes on, and having someone who will go into town for me and pick up things and gab with annoying, nosy people is well worth the money. Besides, I can't cook. <clears throat> I only met Sarah recently, I guess, a uh, recently. I guess a chance for, uh, I can't, I, see, I can't afford to fuck up those lines, Eric, because when I fuck <laughs> up those lines, <laughs> they go. Uh, and that's not a reflection on the fact they're not there long enough on the screen, because for 99% of the people, that'd be fine. I see you. What? The cellar door. Not yet. Try to open it. Ah, uh, the beer. This, this. How did you get the glasses on it? It's literally just an entity file of glasses, and I just sort of uh, dragged them up there. Then I set them as static so that they don't fall. Nice. <laughs> That's... Oh. Wait, won't wait, be wait, any wait, in... wait, 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 wait. Fuck. <laughs> I thought that. Maybe I did a... consider changing it each day, mm-hmm. but the problem with that is if you didn't check it the first day, then you wouldn't understand what was going on. That's true. Yeah, so it could have been quite funny to like even put, you know, like seriously fuck off or something. <clears throat> I 
Is that a machine for pigs? Yeah, there, I, uh, I, I used a couple assets from Machine for Pigs. I just I didn't recognize it, and I've not played a Machine for Pigs. So. Ooh, I thought it was going to be up there. Pling, pling, pling. Oh! Oh, do it, do it, do the song of the people on the, on the double bass. Okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 oh, uh, ha! Have a doubt. Check the booze. The deceit. This is this is this is for the goddess player. The 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 is gone for Right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's been seven cans of cider drank this evening. It's not my fault. <clears throat> this to taste, this, this, Eric, this word. <laughs> you guys realize, David? <laughs> what? You're so excited to play this. Uh huh. And you're, you're probably not going to remember any of it. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll watch it later. <laughs> so, so, so when you go to edit it, you'll get to get excited again. Yeah, exactly. It's twice, twice the excitement. That's. Twice the excitement, half the liver. This distaste, d d Eric, I can't say this word. This distasteful <laughs> room of gaudy splendors is where I have entertained guests for the past 13 years. Idiots from around town and people interested in my wine collection. I, dis I despise, I despite Eric, I despise a lot of them. They chortle and guffaw and glee as I play the piano. They ask how I got so good at it. Then the liars, I, the lies, the lies, the lie I tell is practice. The truth is I spent two years getting lessons and the off time that the instructor could spare when he wasn't helping my father cheat on my mother. Ouch. I keep One thing you can do is you don't have to read everything out loud. Mm-hmm. <gasps> About the book. Hey, Michael, I've made it through the first row of bookshelves. As you requested, I put anything I didn't want on my own collection up for sale. I made sure to leave any good horror novels like, yes, there's some good stuff in there, but it's mainly older stuff like Lovecraft and Poe, so you're going to have to look elsewhere to build your collection of King First Editions. Look, I know you think you owe me or some bullshit because I took a few punches for you back in the orphanage, but you don't. I'll be paying you for anything I keep for myself. I hope you don't mind that I kept working on the collection while you were in the hospital. I figured if you didn't pull through, I knew you would. I just use what the book sold for on your funeral. Well, what I had left after the hookers and blow. Joking aside, we actually made a killing. I left your share a bit more than you wanted and I won't take no for an answer in the chest by the window. Anyway, I'm heading out of town on business. I'll be back in a few weeks to work more on the collection. Take care, man. Roger. <laughs> Ah. Damn, this seems me. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. There was a key there. Or there. One of these, wasn't there? I'm going to see if I remember. <clears throat> was it? Yeah, go try to open the chest. Right. And then, okay. God damn it! Right, I'm going to as I go through. I just want to try and see if I remember. So was the one here? Oh uh, yeah. And there was another one here. Or I could just use my crowbar. That would be that would be useful. Was it here? <laughs> oh, or, or was I put here? that I put that in there to really fucking troll people that didn't <laughs> like this puzzle. Uh, there was one in one of the curtains. Yeah. There was one on top of that. Or, in fact, no, there used to be a paint in there, didn't there? Yeah. And it was on top of that. And then... I remember being relatively close to this one. It was in one of these shells? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have the memory of a... Ooh! Not that I needed it. Door stuck firmly, my crowbar's no use. Oh, yeah! Okay. I have a crowbar. Ha 
Aha. It's a lot of monies. Picked up my cash. You found a bag of th th thalers. Th thalers? Thalers? Th yeah, okay. Okay. They say that if you kill yourself, you don't get to go to heaven. I'm not a religious man, but if there's even the slightest chance of a place like that exists, I know Anna is going first class. I once asked my teacher after one of those stupid PSAs about being there for a friend in need, the one where someone tells that tired story of seeing someone unpacking their locker, asks them to hang out, becomes friends and later learns they were packing up their stuff because they planned to kill themselves. Anyway, I asked the teacher why stories like that exist, but when someone goes through with a suicide, the grief counsellors always say there's nothing you could have done. The teacher wasn't prepared to answer a question like that, they never are. There's never anyone there to answer my questions either. Okay. Okay, did you read the uh, whole message it gave you when you clicked on uh, the shelf? I said something about getting a rope to pull it open. Yeah, I said there should be some rope in the storage area downstairs. Yeah. I'm going to finish exploring upstairs. Dolly's back to the yard balcony. This is too tricky for me to try. Still get around to get it repaired eventually. Oh, hang on. I've been recording for about an hour, so I'm just going to refresh it. Boop. <clears throat> you already found one in this room, so there won't be any more. Yeah. Ooh, a pool table. That's a big pool table. That must be yeah, machine. I think I scaled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bad idea. Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm too used to playing Portal. I'm not thinking about falling damage. <laughs> That's strange. Is that so people Yeah, there's can... supposed to be a door there, but I guess it's spazzed out. I used a special uh, pretty full door from um, uh, uh, a machine for pigs. It yeah. like looks nice, and I just decided to use it just since it's the uh, bathroom. But for some reason, it didn't spawn right. That's all right. I just thought it was like one of these weird people that's like, yeah, come watch me shit. When I when I uh, get ready to upload it, I'll just quickly change it. Maybe like the time that it stopped was like six. 66.